given the following IIR filter y of n is equal to 0.2 x of n plus 0.4 x of n minus 1 plus 0.5 y of n minus 1 determine the transfer function non-zero coefficients and impulse response. For the given equation first let me calculate the transfer function. Transfer function means h of z. We need to calculate h of z that is transfer function is nothing but h of z which is equal to y of z divided by x of z that is output by input. We know that any system h of z has input x of z and output y of z. The transfer function h of z will be equal to output divided by input. Now let me write the given equation that is we have y of n is equal to 0.2 x of n plus 0.4 x of n minus 1 plus 0.5 y of n minus 1. Now we should take the z transform of this that is taking z transform we get that is z transform of y of n is y of z is equal to so here 0 0.2 is constant z transform of x of n is x of z plus 0 0.4 constant z transform of x of n minus 1 is z inverse x of z plus 0 0.5 is constant the z transform of y of n minus 1 is z inverse y of z. Further I will simplify this that is y of z. I will take this y of z on other side 0 0.5 we have z inverse y of z is equal to I can write 0 0.2 x of z plus 0 0.4 z inverse x of z. Further I can simplify here I will take y of z common so I can write y of z in bracket we have 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse is equal to here I can take x of z common that is x of z in bracket we have 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 z inverse. So now I can write y of z divided by x of z is equal to that is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 z inverse divided by this term will come on denominator 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse. So y of z by x of z is nothing but transfer function h of z that is h of z is equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.4 z inverse divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse. So this is the transfer function for the given equation. Thus we have calculated the transfer function. Now let us calculate non-zero coefficients. So in this equation we can observe that on no numerator 0 0.2, 0 0.r, 0 0.4r non-zero coefficients and on denominator 0 0.5 is non-zero coefficient. So therefore I can write non-zero coefficients are so here this term is known as B0 constant that is B0 is equal to 0 0.2 and this term is called B1 that is B1 is equal to 0 0.4. These are the coefficients on numerator and coefficients on the denominators are represented as this is known as A1 that is A1 is equal to minus 0 0.5. So these are the non-zero coefficients of the transfer function. So we found transfer function and non-zero coefficients. Now we need to calculate impulse response. 
so to calculate impulse response i will represent this h of z as that is i can write the same h of z is equal to 0 0.2 divided by we have 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse plus 0 0.4 z inverse divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse now to obtain the impulse response that is to obtain impulse response h of n we should take inverse z transform of above equation so inverse z transform of h of z is we have h of n is equal to here 0 0.2 is constant that is 0 0.2 so inverse z transform of 1 upon 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse is nothing but so we know that alpha n u of n the z transform of this will be 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse so it is of that form here we can see that on denominator we have 1 divided by 1 minus 0 0.5 z inverse so here alpha is equal to 0 0.5 so i can represent it as 0 0.2 alpha here alpha is not this is alpha so here it is alpha so here with respect to this alpha is 0 0.5 so it is 0 0.5 power n 0 0.5 power n u of n similarly for this the inverse z transform of this will be 0 0.4 is constant so here we have z inverse means there, there is a shifted unit step signal by one unit so we can represent it as 0 0.5 power n minus 1 we have u of n minus 1. So, this is the impulse response of the given transfer function. Thank you for watching.